What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a little speculative video on video game analyst Michael Pachter who is very seldom right about his predictions. But I do believe that some of his predictions have been pretty spot on. And this one in particular, I do agree with. This has a lot to do with Hideo Kojima, Sony, uh, and their plans to work with this amazing creative mind in the video gaming industry. Hideo Kojima is a trendsetter, he's a revolutionary, and he's a legend when it comes to video game development uh, as he has created the Metal Gear franchise, an amazing game franchise, a, a series of incredible games that have weaved espionage and storytelling and character development with beautiful worlds and extremely well done animation. It's just been incredible the amount of work that Kojima has put into the Metal Gear franchise. That franchise alone has made him an incredible talent and very much respected in the video gaming industry. Of course he got butt fucked by Konami and now he's working with Sony and I think that's probably the best place for him to have gone. Sony, they understand how to work with him. As a matter of fact, Metal Gear came to the PlayStation. It was an exclusive to the PlayStation. So it's kind of where his first baby was born. So for him, it's probably feeling like going back home to live with your parents until you save up enough money to get yourself a nice condo and a girl that likes to twerk. But here we are. I'll drop a link in the description. Sony's partnership with Hideo Kojima is a quote, safe bet, end quote, says analysts. Sony recently caused a lot of excitement among gamers when it announced that it had partnered with Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima to help bring his next game to life. The famed video game creator left Konami and the Metal Gear franchise following the release of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. It seems like Sony is giving Kojima all the support he could need, but is this a wise move? Wedbush Security's analyst Michael Pachter certainly thinks so. In an interview with Gaming Bolt, Pachter said, quote, Oh, you know, I think that they probably know exactly what they'll spend developing the game. And my guess is it's 70 to 80 million dollars, and that's plenty. That'll give Kojima enough to get his game done. And the fact that we are talking about this years before it even comes out tells you that they are getting a lot of publicity by spending this money. Frankly, I think a bet on Kojima is about as safe a bet as you can make. He's just an amazing game developer. And as odd as Death Stranding probably will be, it's going to be beautiful and the gameplay will be phenomenal. So I'll play it. I'll buy it. And if I hate it, then I won't buy Death Stranding too. But honestly, I think they're going to do very well very very well. I think this is a guy you want to have partnership with. He's just great." End quote. Only time will tell if Kojima's new game Death Stranding will be as successful as the Metal Gear franchise. The trailer shown at E3 certainly has our interest, but will it live up to our expectations? Death Stranding is also set to star The Walking Dead's Norman Reedus, one of the few survivors of Negan's rage in the series. He was originally going to appear in the cancelled Silent Hills game, and that was being created by Hideo Kojima as well as Guillermo del Toro. So this is, I believe this is totally true. This game probably is a 2019 release. It, it might be a late 2018 release, but I'm thinking the way that Kojima works on his games, the stories that he weaves, this is going to be something completely different. It's not going to be an espionage, Splinter Cell, Metal Gear type of experience. It's going to be an open world game that's crazy. I'm talking about the world of Psycho Mantis. You see these things, these things flying through the air. It's going to be incredible. But if they're spending 70 to 80 million, they're expecting a hell of a return. And Michael Pachter, this guy is wrong <laughs> more often than he's right. And I think that he's 100% right here. Somebody's spending a lot of money. Basically, they wrote a blank check and told Kojima to do his thing. And he's going to do it. Kojima has vowed to work and create games for as long as he can. He says his legacy is what he wants to do. It's the thing that makes him happy. And I'm really happy to see him working with Sony. I think it's a perfect fit. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Hideo Kojima is a safe bet for Sony? Or do you think that he's a wild card? Of course he's safe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can actually support the channel in your own special way by visiting BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take